Okay, we're here again with Danny in the Cosmochrome Warehouse in Montreal, and we're going to talk about the G4 and G5, the silver plating solutions, what makes them unique, and how to handle them when you're using your Cosmochrome system. So Danny, um, this is a little bit different than what we've seen with com competing systems. We supply the G4 and G5, the two silver plating solutions, pretty much ready to use, already mixed. Are they diluted down, or is Absol this just regular using strength? Absolutely not diluted, ready to use, ready to mix, and pre-measured, okay? It's, you, you remove your cap, you empty the whole bottle, which is already pre-measured. And that's the G411. The G411, right? Yeah. right? And these two products together is what's going to give you your chrome. Separately, um, they're useless. Together is what gives you your chrome. Okay, so once you mix the G411 into the G4, so how long does that product last? Well, good question. We have here, it's on the side of the thing, it's marked date mixed. This is not for us, it's for you. Once you've mixed your G411 into your G4, you mark the date that you wrote it. Together mixed, they're good for three months. Okay. okay. Separately, it's got a shelf time of approximately a year. Providing everything is closed tightly, it's one year shelf time separate. Now, if you accidentally leave the lid off the loose on the container or set it out in the hot sun, that can shorten the shelf life. Is Absolutely that correct? correct, yes. And we have an opaque container here on purpose because it helps protect it from light. Yep, and the fact that your G4 is blue, uh, as you notice on your system, it's all color coded as well. So the blue jug is, represents G4, the blue hoses, G4, the blue caps, G4. Okay, now the G5, do we have to mix anything here? No, nope, no mixing required. It's as is, ready to use. Uh, this has a shelf time of uh, one year. Uh, when it's in your, ca your, your, your cylinder, uh, you, you don't need to wash it out. It doesn't hurt. Once in a while, you should just, when it's empty, rinse it out anyways. But it's ready to use. There's, there's no mixing required. Yeah, I like to clean my uh, pressure vessels out about once a week, just yeah. to be sure. Yeah. Now, um, some people say this is a disadvantage because it costs a little bit more to ship these. But the fact that these chemicals last at least 90 days once you open them or mix them, where the competing products have to be disposed of every day, whatever you have left over. Correct. That is way more expensive than a one-time shipping fee. It is because, uh, you know, we talked about emptying this whole canister. This whole canister is, you know, what you put in here, providing you're going to use this whole thing in three months, but you don't have to. Uh, the shelf time separately, as we discussed, is one year. So if you think you just need to make smaller measurements, you can make one liter at a time. You can make this whole 18 liter last you one full year. But you do have to be very careful how you measure it. It has to be to the gram. Right? Measuring is essential. If it's too much of one, not enough of the other, you're not going to get the correct mixture, and you may have some different results. And then um, I would like to, one of the most common tech calls I get are for people that are using chemicals that are cold. And one thing that's really handy to have when you have a Cosmochrome system is an infrared thermometer. It's just a little tool that well, you can aim at your containers, you can aim it at the jugs or on your pressure vessels, and it'll take the temperature. The minimum temperature for doing this process, these chemicals, is about 20 degrees Celsius, about right. 70 degrees Fahrenheit. If your chemicals are too cold, the plating will not be as white as it should be. It'll be slightly yellowish. So get yourself an inexpensive digital thermometer an infrared one, so you don't have to dip it in the chemicals and contaminate it. Just aim at it and take your temperatures before you use the system. It's a great money saver and it'll improve your quality. Nobody likes to throw money away. So if you have the correct temperature, you'll, you'll get the maximum capacity of your, your, uh, your products. Great. Great info, Dan.